Methodism as a historic tradition seems better at splitting than at staying together. In fact, the formation of the Methodist Episcopal Church was itself a split from the Church of England. The Methodist movement began gradually through the mission of John Wesley, a minister within the Church of England. As his focus on practical theology and holiness spread throughout England and into Ireland, it made its way to the British colonies, where it began in the areas of modern-day New York, Philadelphia, and Baltimore. As the movement grew, ministers who were not ordained were not allowed to perform the sacraments of communion and baptism, thus inhibiting the natural growth of Methodism and of Christianity in the colonies. So soon after the American Revolution in 1784, John Wesley went against his own tradition's ordination standards and ordained Thomas Koch, Richard Watcote, and Thomas Vassy to go to the United States, where they, in turn, ordained Francis Asbury. Koch and Asbury would become the leaders of the Methodist Episcopal Church in the United States, a predecessor denomination to United Methodism. So without splits and ordinations that challenge the institutional church's understanding of who is worthy of ordination, the United Methodist Church would not exist.